The Hound of the Baskervilles A man called Dr Mortimer comes to see Sherlock Holmes, the famous London detective. Dr Mortimer, you know my friend Dr Watson, don't you? Now, how can we help you? Well, do you know about the curse of the Baskerville family? Sit down by the fire and tell us about it. Sir Hugo Baskerville was an evil man. In 1643, he kidnapped a neighbor's daughter and took her to Baskerville Hall. The girl managed to escape. But Sir Hugo and his friends chased her across the moor. The girl died of fear. Suddenly, they saw a huge black hound with eyes of fire. It killed Sir Hugo. He was the first Baskerville to die that way, but not the last. In June, Sir Charles Baskerville died, and the hound killed him. What a frightening story. It's interesting, but it's only an old legend. What do you want me to do? I want you to protect Sir Henry Baskerville. Sir Charles was a very rich man. Now his nephew, Sir Henry, will inherit all his money and property. Sir Henry is the last of the Baskervilles. I don't want him to die, too. I'll do what I can to help him. Bring him to see me tomorrow morning. Dr. Mortimer brings Sir Henry Baskerville to meet Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. Sir Henry arrived yesterday. He has lived in Canada since he was a boy. Pleased to meet you, Sir Henry. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Holmes. Is it good to be back in England, Sir Henry? Well, yes. But this morning, I received a letter wanting me to stay away from Baskerville Hall. May I see the letter, please? Your life is in danger. Do not come to Dartmoor. Hmm. I can smell perfume. A woman sent this letter. But how did she know where Sir Henry is staying? Have any other strange things happened since you arrived, Sir Henry? Yes. Somebody took one of my boots from my hotel room this morning. One of your boots? That isn't important, is it? I don't know. Perhaps someone is following you. Now, I want you to return to your hotel until this evening. There isn't anyone following them. Ah, but there is, Watson. The man in that cab. I can't see his face, though. Driver, Waterloo Station. Quickly. Oh, no. He's seen us. Never mind, I've got an idea. Watson, you must go to Baskerville Hall with Sir Henry. Write me a report every day. All right, Holmes. But what are you going to do? Please, Watson, no questions. Just do as I ask. Dr. Mortimer and Dr. Watson travel to Dartmoor with Sir Henry. Baskerville Hall is not far from the station. Mm -hmm. 
Sergeant, why are there so many policemen here? A murderer called Selden has escaped from Dartmoor Prison, sir. Don't worry, though, we catch him. These are the Barrymores. Your uncle's servants. Welcome to Baskerville Hall, Sir Henry. In the middle of the night. What is Barrymore doing? Was he the man in the cab? A few days later. I think I'll walk to the village and post my report to home, Sir Henry. Please don't leave the house alone. It may not be safe. Good morning. Your daughter Watson, aren't you? I'm Jack Stapleton. That's my house, and there's my wife, Beryl. Pleased to meet you. Would you like to join me for a walk? Shall we go this way? Oh, no. That's the Grimpenmire. There's quicksand everywhere. I know a safe way through, though, but for a stranger like you, it's very dangerous. What's that awful noise? People say it's the Baskerville Hound, a stupid old legend. Please excuse me, I must go. Sir Henry, you must leave here at once. You are in terrible danger. I'm not Sir Henry. I'm his friend. Are you Beryl Stapleton? Watson has been at Baskerville Hall for a week. He writes a daily report to send to Sherlock Holmes. A strange thing, Holmes. Every night, Barrymore signals from a window with a light. Tonight, we are going to find out why. 